Hello and welcome to Gospel Rock TV and CRTV in partnership. I want to welcome you, all my people from Cameroon. I love you and I'm, I'm just going to give you a message of hope today. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for this opportunity. Bless your people as they hear this message. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Today, I want to talk to you about hope. This program is called The Hour of Hope. Welcome to The Hour of Hope on CRTV. We need to be a people who have hope. One of the challenges we have is that we don't know where our hopes come from. We don't know what to do. When everybody lets you down, when you're struggling, when nobody trusts you anymore and you can't trust anybody anymore, you need to find hope in someone who cannot fail. You need to find hope in somebody who loves you and cares for you. It's hard to trust any man because every man has issues. People have different issues in their life. People are struggling. People have personal problems. People have personal issues. And it's difficult most of the time to tell the truth, most of the time to hope in somebody because everybody seems to have the same issues. So it's difficult for you to put hope in man to trust in man. To have hope in somebody it means to trust them, that they can help you and be there for you in the time that you need them. But it's so difficult in this century because everybody is struggling. But for you and me, my advice for you on this Sunday morning is that you trust in God. It's better to trust in God than to trust in man. It's better to trust in God than to trust in the system made by man or created by man. Why? Because everything created by man has a failure. I'm not against creation. I'm not against the things that man has created. I'm just trying to say, don't put your hope in what man has created. Don't put your hope. Don't rest all your faith and everything. Don't bet 100% on anything man does or man says. Why? Because we all fail. One way or another, you and me, we all fail. We all struggle. We all have issues, personal issues, public issues in our lives. None of us is perfect. So my advice, by the grace of God, and this our hope is that you have put your hope in the Lord. Put your hope in the one who cannot fail. Put your hope in the one who will never leave you nor forsake you. His name is Jesus Christ, the one that you celebrate all the time. I tell you the truth, it's not an easy thing to do to trust in people because people always will let you down. It's just the nature of the thing. You can't always win all the time. People can't always keep their promises on the t all the time because they have issues in their life. In Matthew chapter 11, verse 27, 28, says, Jesus says, come to me, all you have issues, all you who are, who are heavy laden, all you have burden, come to me, I will give you rest. Come to me, I will help you. I am your help. I am your rescuer. I am your redeemer. I am the one you need in times of trouble. Jesus is the one you need in, time, in the times of pain and deception when people let you down. Jesus is the one you need. There's no other hope. There's no other way. My brother, my sister, this is the, the essential, this is the essence of the message we're talking about. Better to have hope in God than in a system made by man. Because I will always let you down. Man will always let you down. Because we are not perfect. But in Christ, we are being perfected. In Christ, we are being made perfect. Because in Christ, Christ is the fulfillment of the love of God. Christ is the fulfillment of the hope of God. Christ is the hope of humanity. You and I, we cannot go through this life without hope. 
Hope is putting your trust in somebody who can keep his word. In in Revelation chapter 19 verse 11, the name of Jesus is called faithful. He is faithful. He is able to do what he said he will do. He is able to to fulfill his word. If he promises something, he will deliver on what he promised to do. My brother, my sister, your, you and I challenge is to put our faith in Christ. You and I challenge is to put our hope in Christ. Without our hope in Christ, we cannot succeed. We will always fail. But God is faithful. Christ is faithful and he promised he will never let you down. Because he's powerful, he's able to fulfill his word. And that's the issue. My brother, my sister, my prayer for you today, no matter what you're going through. In Romans chapter 5, verse 5, the book of Romans chapter 5, verse 5 in the Bible, he says, Hope does not disappoint because the love of God has been poured out in our heart. Amen. By the Holy Spirit was given to us. So the first thing the Holy Spirit brought to you is the love of God. And the love of God gives you the peace of God. And the peace of God gives you the hope that is in God. Amen. So my brother, my sister, my challenge for you today is that we are out to spread the hope. My message today is a message of hope. We go around helping people, bringing hope to people. We go around helping as many as we can because we are bringing hope to the hopeless. We are bringing hope to the widows and the orphans and the, those who cannot afford it. Thank you, my Lord Jesus. Alleluia. Amen. Alleluia. Amen. We pray to Lord. I am. Alleluia. The village, the, the, the village natal du pasteur Joseph. Nous sommes au terme de l'accomplissement de la tâche qu'il m'a chargé d'accomplir. Maintenant, les enfants, les enfants sont là avec les parents. Voici l'école publique de l'ONU au village du pasteur. Comment ne pas te louer Comment ne pas te louer Comment ne pas te louer Because we have hope, we go around spreading hope. The gospel is the message of hope, the message of love, the message of peace. And because my life has been transformed, I am now, by the grace of God, able to help other people so that the word of God, who has, who is full of hope, can now go and encourage other people. Your problem, my problem, is that we don't know how to trust our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. You see, the more we know him, with the more we can see that he's faithful. The more we know him, the more we can trust him. Look at you and me. You cannot tell your secret to somebody you don't trust. So you have to love the person, you have to know the person, so you can trust them, so you can put your hope in them. Otherwise, there's no way you can trust anyone if you have no hope in them. But now God, your creator, God, your father has sent Jesus Christ for you that your hope will rest on him. That your hope will rest on him alone. We need to be a people of hope. If anybody has no hope, there's no, he lives hopeless. If anybody has no hope, it's the most difficult thing to go through. There's no way you can live without hope. Hope for a wife, hope for a job, hope to have children, hope to have any career. For any of that, you need to have hope. And Jesus Christ will help you because he is your hope. You have to hope in him. The love of Christ, the hope in Christ does not disappoint because he is faithful. That's his name. He will do what he said he will do. He loves you. The enemy has been lying to you in your mind. He loves you truly. 
For God so loved the world, for God so loved you, that he sent his beloved son, his only begotten son, to you, that if you believe in him, if you put your hope and trust in him, he will do the things you cannot do yourself. He will give you life, abundant life, eternal life, because he is the hope of the world, because he is the savior of the world. My prayer today is that you have tried everything. You have gone through everything. People have let you down. Today, my brother, my sister, change, repent, put your hope in Jesus Christ and watch what he will do for you. God bless you. Have a blessed Sunday. In Jesus' name, amen.